Where did you learn to fight like that? Where? On the road? As a pilgrim? I had no other choice. On the road? <laughs> Don't you wonder sometimes what they gave us to make us like this? Stronger? Rather fucked in the head. But yeah, fucked up and stronger. Maybe I'll figure that out when I find Mia. What's next? Well, you heard it yourself. Ro might know where you can access that damn database. Here, take these orders to him. Just don't lose them, or Jack will gut me. What about you? I'll join you. But first, I have to see Frank. You saw him. He's barely holding it together. What about this Roe guy? You know him? Roe? Too fucking well I do. He's a great commander. And a fucking hothead. For some reason, people say we have a lot in common. Once, Jack sent his squad to a spot that turned out to be a dark zone. People panicked, and they probably wouldn't have made it out of there. But Roe kept his cool, makes them all back out, and suddenly starts banging a stick on some barrels, attracting the motherfuckers. It was a suicidal plan. But the vital thing was, it was a plan. That's what makes soldiers think clear again. If the Night Runner still existed, Frank would have recruited him for sure. So, uh, Frank, he's not exactly the most reliable source of help. You don't know what you're talking about. He was a Night Runner. Even though these days, he can't even say the name properly when he's drunk. Aren't the Night Runners ancient history? History can repeat itself. For good and for bad. Legends can't. Say what you want. I believe that when the time comes, if the time comes, Frank will rise to the occasion. Who knows? Maybe he'll even invite me to join the club. And Jack, the commander. Do you trust him? Jack Matt? He's a smart guy, but a bit of a narcissist. What do you mean? Well, he's only a major, but refers to himself as commander-in-chief. But he gave us Rose location, and a chance to find the GRE terminal. I don't care about the rest. Okay. Good. Start with Culvert Island. The PK have an outpost there. Hey, Luan. You should know that in Old Villador, I, I came into conflict with Ader. I blew up the Peacekeeper's windmill, and we really don't like each other. <laughs> Are you afraid they'll figure out what you've done? Didn't you hear what Jack was saying? Take it easy. Nobody has contact with old Villador here. And even if there was someone, by that time, we'll have already found what we're looking for. And stay on the radio all the time. Sure thing, partner. Until today, I thought... <laughs> Luan, I'm nearing Culvert Island. Great. Frank sorted out, so I'm on my way. If you get Ro to tell you where the terminal is, let me know. You'll find your sister, I'll find the missing names of assholes for my kill list. Everyone will be happy. Except the people you shoot. They won't be in any condition to care. Lieutenant Rowe, I have orders from the commander. I ain't Rowe. He went off with the squad to New Dawn Park. I'm Lieutenant Grady. Great. Guess I gotta keep going. What are you talking about? Show me those orders, son. 
I was supposed to give them directly to Roe. And I'm Roe when Roe's not here. It's called chain of command. Give him. What the hell? Did the commander say why we're being pulled back to center? He didn't seem too eager to explain anything to me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, boys, time to pack it in. Command's ordered us to withdraw. It's back to base for us. We're doing what? We're leaving this outpost? Don't question me. You can't hide behind Meyer's skirt out here. You're... you're abandoning us? What do we do? We'll be defenseless. Go arm the survivors. Then we roll. If I were you, I'd give them plenty of weapons. The Renegade sent a whole detachment to the Fisheye. Any other bright ideas, civilian? And just a question. Where can I find Ro? New Dawn Park, like I said. Not sure if they made it yet. You take these to him and tell him I'm on it. <laughs> Better you than me, buddy. Ro's gonna blow his top when he reads these. And I'm here to save lives, not lose mine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Assholes. We won't stand a chance. I'm really sorry, civilian, but we have orders. You can't leave us. If the renegades come, we'll be dead within a day. Easy there, civilian. <sighs> Fucking idiots. They're pulling orders out of their ass and putting against the people at risk. One day they might just blow up the dam and the entire city. <clears throat> Luan, I'm going to New Dawn Park. Apparently, Roe went there. I still don't understand why the renegades attacked the fish eye. They've got their camps, but Butcher hasn't attacked the fish eye since never. Even he respected the Night Runner, so no fucking clue what's going on in his head. The Butcher, tell me more about him. The Colonel. He's the leader of the renegades. He gave the order to douse the city in chemicals. That's when my parents died. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Saw my dad once in my whole life. And if mom was good at anything, it was drinking. She abandoned me. I'm looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You seen him? Who are you? Why do you want to know? I have orders from Major Matt. Lieutenant Grady said he was here. It'll be okay. Where's your squad and commander? We were making camp when renegades attacked us. Rowe and the others, they got a few. Then they went after the ones that tried to run. What about you? Couldn't keep up. I lost contact with them. Then another group attacked me. What are they doing here? The renegades weren't attacking our positions in the center. Oh, fuck. Hey! Still some rats here! Careful. Hide. Go to hell. Sure. Already leaving. <laughs> Aren't we, gentlemen? Let's get him! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
We're safe now. You can come out. So, um, where's Ro? <sighs> Camp was supposed to be up there on the hotel roof. By the junction with Newell's Drive. There's a winch in the back of the building. You can take that up. If they haven't been able to come back yet, that's where you'll find them. Thanks. If you can make it back to base on your own, go there. And don't let yourself get chased into a box again. Not yet, but I ran across some renegades. They're all alive. Shit. Hang on. I'm on my way. Let's kick those renegades' asses. taken care of. Check the status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, sir. Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa Zelza brought us. Withdrawal? Now? There's some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other- Five. Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron? They've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important, if idiotic, business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. It fucking sucks. But an order's an order. Bro, wait. Luan, you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database, and you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out, or take care of it here and now? Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, Check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. 
I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list. And you? You can enjoy life in the center. Maybe Rose wrong. Maybe something survived intact after all. The butcher dropped chemicals. The place was reduced to toxic rubble. You given up? Are you deaf or dumb? Those chemical bombs destroyed everyone and everything they touched. <clears throat> this was a fucking waste of time. Frank was right. I am fucking naive. What's the deal with those renegades? Why did they attack the canteen? How would I know? Williams is a fucking lunatic, a butcher, and a murderer. He killed half the city with a chemical weapon strike. Now he's ordering his men to attack civilians in the center. Right after Waltz turned on the power. Waltz and that psychopath are buddies. I wouldn't be surprised if they planned that together as well. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list, they'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden, I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Lawan. Goodbye. One, 
Yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Go on. Hey, Major Matt? Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. What the? What the? F Let's get the hell out of here, Greg. Hey, wait. Stay away! Hey! What the fuck just happened here? Why no chances against renegades were pretty good. But now, and uh, what did they serve yesterday? Halt! Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attacked there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. Regularly check your infection department in a year. In a year, you'll be addressing me as cool. Part of your work. You to go to Zurich. Hey, where's dispatch? <laughs> there. All right, men. Take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go! They've already attacked two of our camps. <coughs> we'll do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Can I help you? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. 
Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ugh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> you must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Ready, hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Ready, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Ader's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Die. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the Renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran, at night, in secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. 
What do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get walls for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay, Jack. Our chances against renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. 
It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, Night Runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the Night Runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last Night Runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up. Drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. You can go now. Change the tide of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on alarm and electric traps. Patrol, what's the situation? You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Reyna is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Matt, not forgive the renegade. The Juan? Aiden, getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs. To have Eagle here, Eye. You know Business I mean. is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribed the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. If it wasn't for us, half of the... These people would be biter bait.
Juan Rayner. You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you from Meyer and the commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim, but you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm -hmm. How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? Like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. The PK's sure pissed off. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try and Did next? you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. you don't have a Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Even a drop of Goddamn sun come out. So what did you like? Care about us? Okay, why don't we put a tone and show you can at least this small section? Don't bite, honey. Signor Antonio. You have too much respect for all the world. Yes, keep going. Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. 
Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Always complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. I told you your paltry vocabulary would grow in leaps and bounds this way. One? There's nothing left in here. Dan, you said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch.
from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Bukowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The one. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay. I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't, but if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Yeah, here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gacho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get us a dinner war. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, listen, happy birthday. Ah, lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. A well, bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. Aiden! You came! You invited me. Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Who won? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. 
It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers? Aiden, are you playing? What game? Don't bother. You'll just end up really drunk and humiliated. Aiden, the longer we talk, the more time we give this grump to back out. You in or out? Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? <laughs> well, maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. Okay, your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean play? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. There, let's hear those pipes, Ro. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. You might think I'm tough and all, but I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. You're my ragamuffin. I know it's just a silly name, but you set my heart aflame. It's true. Good Lord, shoot me. Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note. Wow, man, that was... That was something. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. Oh yeah, the, the hit list. How did it start? With a bastard who had to pay for what he did. It started with one. Then there was another one. And then a whole bunch of them. But who was the first one? That's another question. Drink. No, he's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then, I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. Night runners fell. Frank started to drink. Gave up on life. On himself. <laughs> so. I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess.
telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. <laughs> Gadjo! Here you are! Thank you! Thank you for the vodka! Thank you! Let's drink! For me? And another year in this... shithole! You're not the worst, you know. Why, are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. How the hit list started? <sighs> gotcha, gotcha. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Levan about her past. You get it? Good. Now, get lost. It's my birthday. Don't bother me. I'm thinking. Right. Well, then, at least share what you're thinking about. 